Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and joined here with the great D Shaky. Say hello, D Shaky. Hello. So, of course, like normal, we are playing as, or at least I'm playing as, the People's Republic of China, while D Shaky is slowly taking over all of Europe under that guise of communism. In which last time, well, we have three Germanys now. Um, West Germany, East Germany, and the Kingdom of Bavaria. Hmm. Yeah, yeah um, Europe is not very pretty at the moment. Um, yeah, Italy and Germany really bad right now. And it's a very horizontal Hungary as well. Would you look at that? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I doubt they can reform Austria-Hungary. That'd be kind of cool if they could, though. But Yeah, I'll just give them the stuff so it kind of looks like the borders, <laughs> but it's all gonna be just occupied states, but I nice. can pretend. Very nice. And what am I doing? I'm preparing... Oh, I've, I'm out of guns. I am... Yes. And artillery. Hmm. Uh, we need a five-year plan here, please. Five-year plan. Well, I've got five lines of factories being made, so that's kind of nice. Oh, just let me know if you need me to slow it down uh, at all, uh, since we're on four speed right now. Yeah, it's fine for now. I guess if I go to war with the Allies and it's a little um, difficult, then maybe. Why does Poland exist? Why? Oh, yeah, that Poland. Huh. Yeah, they've why? existed forever, because... Germany didn't take everything. From Why couldn't them? they just give it to Czechoslovakia? <laughs> well, it's actually they just have always existed. This is like the original Poland. They just Germany uh... never full annexed them in the first place. Hmm. Oh, Germany, we're still living with your sins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, when do you plan on eating a little bit more Germany or Czechoslovakia? Hopefully, very soon before France and everybody else can rebuild. Well, I guess France never actually fell, so... Yeah, that's true, yeah. That's bad, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I'm doing Soviet cooperation. Uh, would you like 4-speed or 5-speed? Just because there's not really much going on right now. It's only 1941, so... Yeah, 5-speed works, and that's fine. 5-speed! Here we behind. go! Yeah. Cool. Now it's that much faster. Oh, no, it's chugging. <laughs> chugging at 5-speed. <five> <laughs> So, the plan is for D-Shaky to take over all of Europe. For me, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the Raj, French Indochina, good stuff like that, but like I've said, I'm, I'm really out of guns. Holy cow, 40,000 gun deficit, tw almost 13,000 artillery deficit. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. Wait, are we going to actually take something? No. <laughs> Click done. <laughs> I've already caused enough issues. Hey, but at least Hungary thing. actually took most of it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, oh, Iceland. Wow, that's what? weird. Why Iceland. did they? Huh. They're a UK puppet, but now they have. What? Oh, the, the French own Zara. Wait. Yeah. Uh, Croatia still exists. Okay then. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, and so the axis still lives on, or the white axis now. It was black and then pink, and now. <laughs> I could make a joke huh. about race and having a white axis, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, you could. I set that one up perfectly right there. Uh, uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, let's oh see. Do no. I even have a boat? I have no boat. This is unacceptable. Oh, I don't. Oh, that's right. I only have five naval XP. That's right. Oh, my goodness. I'm yeah, I'm not I'm not doing so well with naval XP either with a good 14 naval experience. But you got ships, right? You know, give me, can you yeah, give me I, ships? I, could, I don't know. I don't think I can. I don't think there's a way to lend lease ships and I can't lend lease you in general since you're not at war. <sighs> I could get another research slot or I could get more I think as much as I love a research slot, I got to go with 10 more naval experience so I can at least build something. Oh, it pains me. I don't even know what to do. These borders are so bad. I don't even know like where to put my army or anything. Um, uh, uh, Yugoslavia, uh, Slovenia, <laughs> Bosnia Herzegovina, and there goes West Germany. Yep, into the Allies. I assume uh, Bavaria will join if I justify against them, or they'll just get guaranteed. Oh man, Rupert the First is there. He's got a pickle halba on. How could you want to destroy that tradition? <laughs> <sighs> we just leave Bavaria independent the entire time. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. 
Yeah. I think we've already done enough to these borders, though. Ah, uh, they all gotta be red when we're done here. Even yes. though, like, the Republic of Austria and Veneto, they're both independent. Yeah, the Republic of Austria is just based in South Tyrol now. They're literally doing Austrian neutrality, Soviet aircraft designs, Democratic Bastion. I wonder how much Austrian or German they actually speak down there. I think they're pretty, pretty Italian there, but you know, I could be wrong. Yeah. God, look at Yugoslavia. Oh, Germany, Germany, Hungary just pokes itself into there like, hello. It's, this is just finding a, finding a way to like, make these borders is impossible. Uh, let's make a fallback line and let them like, take some of the, take some of Hungary's territory so that something can happen. It's absolutely disgusting. Oh, actually, Macedonia has a claim on that. Oh, Macedonia, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Bulgaria, you are a puppet of Papa Stalin. Valko Chervinkov. Huh, I'm looking at Bulgaria since you took him over and you, you made him a little large. Oh, yeah. Huh, it's interesting. It's all their cores, though, I think. Yeah. Except for Romania. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Slavish People's Operation, I'm get a lot more of that stuff. Uh, political advisor. I could use not any more stability. Uh, Trotsky, I... Mm, that stuff is okay. Limited rights. I cannot do enforced patriarchy. I can do total equality. That would mean anything for us. Order above all. Chance of strikes. Order above all. That's kind of nice. Cruiser holes. So which country are you going to strike first? Probably just for the sake of border gore, Czechoslovakia. Hope, yes. Hopefully, yeah. I'm sure they'll join the Allies, though. They're democratic, so I just need to be prepared for a lot war against them. At least I have Denmark, so I can mm -hmm. block these raids. Nice. I think I'm going to go with uh, justification for war. I'm going to go with ideological struggle. It costs me plus 0.1 daily political power, but you get more division attack on core territory by 1%. But minus 50% justify war goals times. I think that's worth it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we got so much to build in China. Oh, jeez, why? Why can't China just be super developed? It's gonna take a couple decades. Yeah, oh, supply is so bad down here. Oh god, yes, yeah, supply is really bad down here. Um, fix that up first. Oh, we actually get more resources. That's kind of nice. Uh, let's see, Czechoslovakia, who are you led by? Mr. Sternface himself, Milan. Hmm. Oh, he has no manpower. And no divisions. Oh, yeah. Huh. So you're telling That's me interesting. you don't want to kill him off immediately? What? Just me? Wars. No, I want to attack him immediately. I just need to be ready against the allies. Okay. Uh, so Just in case, because I don't have very many divisions. France has more divisions than me. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, how many divisions do you have? I get between 43 and 257. <laughs> I have 150 divisions. Okay, that's come somewhere in the middle. But I, have, yeah. I have plenty of um, equipment to make a ton more, though, if I want to. Nice. Uh, let's see. Stockpile? I don't have enough intel on you. Hmm. I have, like... Uh, about a uh, hundred and eighty thousand guns and thirty thousand artillery. So, oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, I've been producing quite a bit. Do you, do you offer any donations? Hey, hey, <laughs> it's all yours if you go to war. I just can't land lease you. All your peace, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so who's who's not a, who's not a pop editor, Who's not any faction? You guys are. Uh, I'm surrounded by people who are in factions. What the heck? No. Uh, actually, can I justify on China? You know what? Let's do that just in case I need to do it whenever. I don't have a navy. I can't get over there. But uh, yeah, I'm literally yeah. I can't go to war with anyone until I get a navy. Oh, hold on. British Malaya, Thailand is a. Oh, 
Oh, it's a puppet of the UK. Hmm. Uh. So I gotta wait till you go to war. I could, I guess technically I could go to war with Afghanistan, but uh, the border between me and them is so small, you might as well not do it. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to have like some pretty good tanks or something to make it easier. I don't know if those are mountains, if mountaineers would work. Oh yeah, and that's, oh, that, that would be miserable. And it's a mountain tile, that one they're mm -hmm. sitting on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, at that point you might just want to need some paratroopers, probably. Yeah, exactly. Plus Clustrin... What is it? What's America doing? Oh wait, why does America own Newfoundland? Uh, oh yeah, they have a decision to trade that. They get that, and the UK gets some of their battleships. I ah, believe. bases for destroyers. Yeah. Then okay. Mhm. Mm <sighs> History class. So they're trying to get nuclear <laughs> attack. All right, they're trying to get some nuclear attack, and America is in the ally, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Yes, this war is going to be kind of, kind of miserable at first. That's okay, you got it. You're the Soviets. Yeah. At least you got a, a ship or two. Wait, I got 15 yeah. naval XP. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, can I make a garbage cruiser? What do we need else for this? I need fire control. I can make a garbage cruiser. Here we go, boys. We can make a 1936 cruiser. <laughs> Congratulations. It's only 1942. It took me six years. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you started off as a landlocked country. You've come a long way. We know how to make a boat with no armor on it. <laughs> We have guns, yeah. and that's it. Uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, I can go to... Time I... I guess it's about time I make a tank division. Oh, you have no tanks? No, I have a ton of tanks. I just haven't used any, because that Germany war was pretty much free. Ah. You should make some super heavies and break straight through the Maginot line, or Maginot. <laughs> I wish I made heavies. For some reason, I made mediums. I can't remember why. That's okay. You got enough time. You but it, it, it works out. Yeah. How many research slots do you have again? <laughs> like uh, six or something. <clears throat> you want to share yeah, those? Yeah, I, I can't complain. You want to share? <laughs> uh, only if I could lend lease ships and research slots. Uh, yeah. I see you also have Denmark there, too. Yes. Mm. Using that to protect some of like Prussia and the Baltics and stuff. Smart, very smart. Let's see, let me do this real quick. Oh, the U.S. Hmm, you know what? As an American, I like seeing the U.S. name over Greenland. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we need to make a trade deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Armor, liability. Oh, yeah, even I don't have any tanks. But that makes more sense for why I don't have any tanks. Chief yeah. of Navy, military for Army staff. 8% political power gains are good. What should I get? Infantry expert now. Catholic industry, ideological crusader. I know I'm whispering. Terrible whispering, fire. yes. Whispering. Hoi for oh, no. ASMR. Hi, <laughs> hoi for ASMR. Oh no. Yeah, lose. there's no way I can win the air war against the allies. This is going to be scary. Air, you don't need air power. Me. What? No. Just take 150 damage worth of uh, ground attack as you're attacking. Yeah. I think I might research some of those, like, anti-air tanks or whatever. I might need hmm. those. That sounds like a good idea. I've never used them before, but that's yeah. like really good. I just demobilized a little bit. I went from service by requirement to extensive conscription, so now I'm losing manpower. But I don't think that's going to be a really much of a problem. So I could get 10% yeah. more construction speed, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, what were you at? 40 million? Uh, 52. 52, oh. Even more. Oh, yeah. We like, well, we like having a big population in Asia. I'm doing pretty well in guns, though. Only 25,000 out. Yeah. Beautiful. At this point in the game, you can make a ton. Well, I don't know how many of the techs you've done. Uh, we will gradually... I'm going to eliminate illiteracy. <sighs> Chinese education. Can't beat it. 
I finally have four research slots. Finally. Nice, yeah. It's surprising that it takes so long for you to get them. This mod's pretty generous with oh, yeah. research slots, like, yeah. Why why is all of Africa except for Portugal under the uh, the sphere of the allies? This disappoints me. Yes, this is um not except for good. Spain. But still. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah. Mr. Even, Franco still. Doing even fine. if I want to invade Africa, I'd have to invade Portugal unless I want to provoke a great war. I could go to war yeah. with Ecuador maybe, but they're guaranteed by the US. Yeah, I think at this point there's really there's really no way to go except to war with the allies. Whoever I go against is democratic wow. we will, will join them. I'm taking a look at the uh, page for um, tanks and stuff. Whoa. Yeah, it's 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 a little crazy. I did not imagine that it'd be like this. Yeah. What the heck are transports? I guess that's motorized, huh? Yeah, I think so. I, I haven't really um, done too much with the other stuff. I think they just kind of like moved the motorized from infantry to here pretty much and made it, made it vertical, so it's confusing. Yeah, big, big space for big trees. Makes me go, oh. I, I don't have motorized unlocked, oh. <laughs> Makes sense. Do I have any better infrastructure? Oh, I do have some good infrastructure right there. It's not bad. Anywhere else? 70% might be the best that we have right now. All right, then. I'm just building up civilian factories. That's all I'm building in infrastructure. I'm not even building any more military factories or anything like that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is probably a bad idea. But I'll take all my factories off of support equipment, except for one factory, to build more guns and more artillery pieces. Hmm. Let's see, early heavy ship hull. No, 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 no. Oh, we have, I have a boat. I have a boat. <laughs> the first communist Chinese ship. Led by Huang uh, I have my new army. Nice, there we go. I, I should have made a destroyer actually, but whatever. Uh, I keep making some convoys. Beautiful, beautiful. Yugoslav Confederation. Okay. What's Switzerland doing? They have a sort of unique focus tree, yeah. Hmm. Switzerland takes over the like world? They... Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, it looks like they're going the path of democracy today. Not in the Allies, though, so. It's Typical convenient. Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Typical neutrality right there. Too neutral. Too neutral. Can't do hierarchy, nothing but. Oh, I should get melting pot. Plus 5% construction speed for civilian factories, but plus 15% infrastructure construction speed and plus 125% monthly population. Huh. Like, I need more babies. Yeah. Mm, the Great Leap Forward. Ooh, more daily. Uh -huh. Economic reform. Generalissimo. Red Pacific. The Sixth Theater. I go to war with the United States. Sounds like fun. Uh, equipment update. 100 Flowers Campaign. The people will be allowed to point out our flaws in our government. Pl Malefactors have other critiques. Oh, that takes 350 days. Now, thanks. We shall do. What we shall do? Armor? You know what? We can do that. You could probably do that. First five-year plan. Um, sorry, I, I, I lowered the speed just by a little bit. Oh my goodness, I need more factories. The first five-year plan. Here we go. I get more infrastructure. Uh, Uruguay. All right then. Huh. Unexpected, but oh well. Oh my god. That that can't be right. My monthly recruitable population. There's 133,000 people a month. Really? 132,000 a month? 132,000. Huh. Holy oh. cow. Huh. Maybe we need to have population control. Holy <laughs> cow. Hmm. 
So I guess Czechoslovakia joined the Allies. Now it'll be interesting to see what Bavaria does. If they join the Allies, that wouldn't be bad, like you said earlier. Like, you know, you could just yeah. entrap them all and be like, Oopsie, there goes all your divisions. Yeah. Italy is in the Allies, but not Naples. Yes, Naples is, yeah, authoritarian. Huh. Wow, that's a weird flag. Wow. Ferdinand. Wow. Arms protect the nation. What does France do after Germany's dead? I don't know. Get really overpowered. Doing technology sharing. Getting some oil. Some Saharan oil. Some tungsten mines. Oh, they're developing Indochina. Good! Develop it! So when I take it over, I get your factories. Yeah, France itself almost has as many factories as I do. That's, that's oh. kind of scary. That perfect time to go to war, then. Perfect time. Yes. <laughs> they have both carrier. Like um, Anti-air in my divisions, at least, hopefully. If, if everyone's watching, I'm just trying to make d Shaky go to war as fast as possible. I want to see a little action. I want to see a little... Uh, <laughs> A fire burn in uh, Europe. Nice. Oh yeah, we might be falling back to the Stalin line today. <laughs> that would not be good. Hopefully not, but maybe. I just got 10% faster research speed from nuclear tech. Now I'm only at 80 min minus 80%. Oh yeah, this is good. China's getting smart. Uh, factorinos. Where do I build such things? 10, 10, 10, 20, 20, 20. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We need so much more infrastructure. So, wait, how many factories do you have? Um, uh, 463 total. Wow. Yes, decent amount. You got a lot of civilian factories. Oh my goodness. I only have 107. Yeah. yeah, and unfortunately, I'm pretty much maxed out on what I can do with um, military factories for now, just based off of resources I have available. Mm -hmm. Wow. But yeah, I'll probably go to war. My tanks are... Some tanks are out, and they have some nice anti-air, so even if they do destroy me in the air war, because the UK alone has... Uh, five to eleven thousand planes, and I only have a measly two point five k. So eh, that's okay. You got, you got. A, oh, hello, quit India. Very good. Oh, I get four more civilian factories. I get plus fifty percent resource efficiency gain and plus fifteen percent construction speed. Yes, please, Soviet daddy, please help me. <laughs> please, we're the poor Chinese people here. We need assistance. Talented personnel plus five percent more electronics research speed. Oh yeah, we gonna build you some cheap electronics. Oh, we need a general here too. Uh, oh yes, and Czechoslovakia very quickly joined the Allies. So, yes, yeah. the Czechs know when to not ally people, when to ally people. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> At least the Allies are putting a lot of divisions into Czechoslovakia, which probably isn't a good idea, considering they're pretty much surrounded by us. Very nice. Very nice. Well, surrounded by you, not by me, but, you know. Yeah. Close enough. Redeploy all these guys around here. Very good. What templates am I using? Oh, to let everyone else, else know who's watching, we... We are pretty much recording all this, you know, before we can really see too many comments, but we're not recording it, like, on the exact same day, so, um, there's little pauses in between the days we play with each other, so, just let everyone know. Yeah, so if you're giving us advice and we're completely ignoring it, that's why. It's not because we're, <laughs> it's not because we just don't care. Yeah, usually I, I pretty much almost always respond to comments, or at least most of them, um, in the following video, so... It is what it is. Muy yes. bueno. <laughs> am I making different types of... Te am I, hmm. I am making different... No? Yes? Hello? What am I doing? 20 combat width. That's not bad. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of art artillery for this. Oh, no, no, no. 
We want all this. No, no, no. We want this. No, we want that. So, artillery and recon. Right, let's get rid of that stuff. This has to go bye-bye. This is where you want it. We'll do that. Everyone become this. Good. Train. Everyone become this. Good and train. Nice. Good. And you know what? Since we're here... Oh, I need to get some motorized... Ooh. Uh, yeah, there's no point in even me messing with this tank division or set. Uh, yeah, there's really no point, too. Industry's improved. Nice. Free building slots added in every own state. Uh, oh, pretty sweet. Nice. And if you're going dispersed, too, that's even more helpful. Yeah, I, I, I usually go dispersed now. I'm not exactly sure if it gives you like a lot more buffs, but it seems pretty nice. Yeah, I usually go concentrated, ex unless I'm not going to make an Air Force, like today. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I have no clue which is better. I think people have done the math. It really depends, I guess. But for me, I'm a simple guy who likes playing the game simply. Dispersed, yeah. I choose Dispersed just because it gives you more numbers. <laughs> yeah. You get a whole 5% more factory output. That could come in handy, but... Meh. I don't want to be too crazy about micromanaging everything. That's why I don't play Black Ice. Oh. Black Ice. Yeah, is, oh. I just look at concentrated, and it sounds like concentrated means it's making more. I don't know. It's just... Oh, look at that. A Wargle's done. Hmm. Nice. I'm going to hire some Soviet expertise hmm. or experts. I get a factory and plus 10% more factory construction speed. God, I love the Soviets. Until we have uh, relations that break down for some reason. Mm. Yes. <laughs> huh. Now we're making artillery out the wazoo. Woo! I have enough guns. We have fixed the gun deficit in China. Now we're only out 6,000 artillery pieces. And any motorized. Cool. So, wait, who do you have a war goal against now? Czechoslovakia. I think it's nice. about time. It looks like my borders are kind of defended, kind of. If it's kind of defended, then it's defended. Uh, yeah. Um, if anything, yeah. I mean, I could I'm probably join hope. your war. Probably. Yeah. Let's see, I'll just start it, and if things go bad, I can always retreat. Oh, I will lower it to three speed then, and I have ten volunteers. I could send you maybe. Just tell me when. You... Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay, things seem to be stable, starting off. Well, I can send 12 guys, but I'm only sending you 10 because I already have them in an army. If you get navally invaded in the rear, which you probably won't, but maybe, I mean, since you have Japan there and Korea, yeah. I can always join your faction and s smack down some Raj folks, some Indo-Chinese folks. Yeah, that'll be a good backup if something like that happens. I've got, I mean, my guys, I mean, minus the artillery, they're looking pretty good. These guys are fancy. These guys, like my guys, they're real fancy. They got, you know, they're 7-2, seven, 7 infantry battalions, 2 artillery battalions. They got some recon on them and some support already. Oh. I'm getting so many alerts of people getting called into the oh, war, cool. I can uh, barely do anything. Cool. I'll, I'll uh. keep it down. Oh, wow. People fighting in Hungary? Yeah. Oh boy. Wait, how is that happening? <laughs> what? Um, I think the game might be slightly bugged there. Uh, well that's okay. Al yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's interesting for sure. Allied divisions fighting inside um Hungary controlled tiles. Nice. Very cool. Never seen that one before. 20. Yeah, let's keep this out. One, two, three. Supply is still going to be a little bit of an issue here. Still demobilizing. Oh, yeah. 
Can we get a few more dockyards? But no, we're gonna get some more military planes first. Military mm, factories. Why I am mean. I getting naval invaded? I've got 46 coastal defenders. Nice. I'm looking five. Time. Nice. Oh, you're getting invaded in Germany. Am I? Oh, oh yeah, well, I, I mean, now. yeah, up there. Yeah. I would really hate to be Czechoslovakia. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, where are my guys gonna show up? I wanna see. Oh, we need to help build up the air area here, maybe? Never enough factories, man. Never enough. Yeah. Well, maybe not in my case. I might have a little too much for what I can trade yeah. for right now. Doing that very well. We're doing this pretty darn well. Garrisons are looking awesome. Coasts are looking well. They need some engineers, but we can't afford engineers right now. We're gonna have to wait. I'm probably gonna go with traditional roles. Need some more factory output right now. Cool, but it seems like that's all the time for that we have today, D Shaky. I guess I will end it for us both. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like on my channel, this video, and on D Shaky's video as well. Uh, subscribe to either one of us if you haven't already, and I guess we will see you tomorrow as we watch D Shaky continue the fire that is occurring in Europe. Thanks for watching, oh, yes. and have a great rest of your day.